You ever hear the expression, what comes up must come down? Um, yes, there's even a song. It used to be a commercial. What goes up must come down. <laughs> so I remembered hearing that as a kid. And I said, what? What? You telling me nothing will can ever leave Earth? Like, what? Right. So then I remember like research in middle school is when I sort of came of age in all of this. And then you realize, okay, um, we went to the moon. Mm -hmm. Okay. The and and there's, uh, there's then still, of course the astronauts came back. Right. But they didn't just fall back. <laughs> they didn't just Wouldn't that they be were cool? just tossed up and then oh we're falling back now. One <laughs> giant leap to get home. <laughs> <laughs> so there's like golf carts or, or rovers on the moon. They're, they're not coming back. Right. There's the base of the LEM, you know, the lunar excursion module. The upper part went up to dock with the, but the, the bottom. So there are things that have been sent into space that are never coming back. Right. So where does this saying come from? Well, it's a pre space era saying. All right. So you toss something. And gravity is pulling downward on it. So mm -hmm. here's what happens. You, it leaves your hand with a certain speed. I don't care what the speed is, okay? But it's a certain speed, and gravity is pulling down on it. Uh, if you want to do it in, in, in English units, 32 feet per second for every second it's in motion. Okay? okay. So if I throw it up at, let's say, 96 miles an hour, a good fastball, okay? Not bad, yeah. 96 miles per hour. After one second, it's no longer going 96 miles per hour because the acceleration of gravity is acting opposite that speed, subtracting away its velocity. Right. So it started out at 96. After one second, how fast is it going? Um, 32 feet per second minus 96. <laughs> or, <laughs> you're, or you're, take, you're taking that away from 96. Right. <laughs> so now how fast is it going? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What is After that? one second, 96 minus 32, dude. Oh, oh, okay. Because, well, wait a minute. Yes. No, you said but it's 96 miles per hour. Oh, ooh, embarrassing. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, ooh, that's, so that's ooh, a different. Ooh, Chuck calling me out. Okay. Yeah. Let's say I throw, <laughs> let's, let's say I throw, so here's how I get out of that real quickly. Right? <laughs> I meant 96 feet per second. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> that's what I meant all along. Oh, okay. 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 All right. <laughs> so, so I throw it 96 feet per second. After right. one second, how fast is it going? So and now it's uh, uh, 96 minus 32. 64. Okay. 64. All right. That's after one second. After one two second. seconds, how fast is it going upwards? A uh, half of that. So it's another 32 minus off of that. So now it's 32, right? Good. That's after two seconds going 32. After one more second, how fast is it going? Well, it just stopped. As it stops. It stops. It stops. Okay. After another second, how fast is it going? Now it's accelerated back to that 32 feet. So now it's coming down 32 feet. Per second. Right. Okay. After second second. It's 64 and then back to 96 when you grab it. When I grab it. Okay. It. So that entire path, holding air resistance aside for a moment, is right. perfectly symmetric. Right. Okay. And so this is gravity always pointing downward. Of course. Yeah. On the way up, it's subtracting from your speed. So we say deceleration, but it's really a negative acceleration. Right. right? It's subtracting from your speed. It goes through zero. And now it's adding to your speed coming back down. Sweet. All right. Yeah. So that's gravity doing its thing. Cool. So I think to myself, um, suppose I threw it faster. Right. It would go higher before it came back. Okay. Let me throw it at 200 feet per second, a thousand feet per second, a million feet per second, whatever. Pick a number. There's got to be some point where it is there a point where it never comes back. Right. But you might say, well, it can always subtract from it. So, yeah, it's always going to come back, isn't it? You well, can, that's what it just seemed like. Because that's just, based on the example I just gave, that's right. what it seemed like. But wait, but wait. As the thing gets higher, uh -huh. it gets farther away from Earth. And so Earth's force of gravity on it begins to drop. Uh-oh. So no longer is it pulling at 32 feet per second down. Oh. So as it keeps getting higher, Earth is still pulling on it, but by less and less. 
when you explore the consequences of this, there's a speed that you can launch from Earth where your object gets to infinity before the Earth stops its motion completely. Uh Uh-huh. That is a specific speed from the surface of every object there is. It is the velocity of escape. Uh, And you know what we call it? The old escape velocity. <laughs> it's called the escape velocity. That's the <laughs> official, in my field, we tell it like it is, okay? And so Earth has an escape velocity. So and wait you know, a minute. So that, then that's the same for every, whatever the gravity is. So every gravity, every gravity has its, own, has its corresponding own corresponding escape velocity. Escape velocity. So for Earth, the escape velocity is seven miles per second. Seven miles per second. So if you could toss something up at seven miles per second. I am signing with the Yankees (laughs) immediately. (laughs) Earth will slow it down to zero right when it gets to infinity. Right. That's the escape velocity. That's the escape velocity. So right when it slows down, it's already... It's at infinity. Outside of the... It's at infinity. Right, it's at infinity. It's at infinity. Okay, so now... You might say, well, that's weird. How can you be at infinity? Well, so here's how that goes. All right. Excellent. If you threw it at eight miles per second, Uh eight miles per second, when it gets to infinity, it's still going. (laughs) Okay. All right. Okay. It would have eaten seven of those miles per second by the time it's at infinity. And by at infinity, it's still going. It's still moving. Okay, so you can have greater than the escape velocity. And that means you've got a place to go even when you've gotten to infinity. Okay. So that's escape velocity. So escape velocity for for the moon is much less. For Mars, it's a little less than Earth. On the sun is much higher. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, um, (laughs) Wait, what's the escape velocity for a black hole? Uh Aha. There is no escape. <laughs> it's like that scene in uh, Chaz Palminteri's movie, A Bronx Tale, where they shut the door on the motorcycle gang after they asked them to kindly leave the establishment. Gentlemen, we would appreciate it if you would leave. And the guys, they look at the young, they're all in suits, all the what supposed mobsters, and the motorcycle gang throws a glass against the bar and laughs at them like, yeah, well, you're going to make us leave. And then all of a sudden, one of the guys goes over and locks the door and he looks at the motorcycle gang and he says, now you just can't leave. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's the black hole. <laughs> that's the, okay, that's the gangster black hole. That's the gangster <laughs> black hole. <laughs> Now that we had a total tangent off of the fact <laughs> that if you're in a black hole, you're not getting out. You're not getting out. Because the escape velocity is basically what? Um, What's the fastest thing there is? That's the speed of light. Right? Therefore, uh, so a black it's hole- It's gotta be faster than that. Right. Yeah, so, so a black hole is has such a high gravity at that zone that not even light can escape. Right. So the escape velocity is the speed of light. Right. So the escape flight shows up in all kinds of ways and places. So this whole thing, what goes up must come down. It's, yeah, if you're just ordinary, but if you're Superman, no. And we live in the era of superheroes and space programs and everything. So it's time we retired that statement. Right. Pretty sure. That's what we should do. Or we could change it to what goes up at 6.9 miles per hour or less must come down. Oh, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> okay no no so it's what goes up at what goes up at 6.9 miles per second per second sorry must That's come right. down must come down right exactly exactly and just to put some icing on this cake for the astronauts who went you can go into orbit but you're still attached to earth right. if you want to go to the moon you have to achieve escape velocity otherwise you will not make it to the moon and you'll fall back right Okay, just like our the ball that you tossed or this this exercise that we conducted. So uh, that's why there's a secondary booster. It's called a translunar injection, which sounds like some medicine you don't want. But there you are in orbit going about five miles per second, but you got to hit seven miles per second. So you wait until it's just right and the geometry is just right. Then you fire 
right in line with the direction you are headed, right. that gets you up to near seven miles per second, and that'll get you to the moon. Actually, you don't See need to get Earth. <laughs> you don't need to get to the moon. You just have to get to the spot where moon's gravity is stronger than Earth's. Than Earth's gravity. Wow. You just have to get just to that spot, and then you fall towards the moon. For All free. right. So wait a minute. What? So could that is that how they did when they did the flyby? Did they just allow the moon's gravity to take the over? The flybys are not done that way. But if you want to land, that's how you do it. Okay. All if right. you want to land, you just need enough fuel to get to that point of to balance. To that point. And right. then, you, then you just get there, crosses over the hill, and you just And you now you're just down going downhill. That's you're going all. downhill. You're going Gravitationally downhill, downhill the, whole, the whole way. Oh, my God. That's, that's pretty brilliant that these people figured this out. Like, yeah, it's called science. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just discovering this now? My like God, smart we, people do this stuff. We got to do more with this science stuff, Neil. <laughs> we definitely have to do more with this science thing. It's how we get to Mars, even. We don't, have, we don't pack fuel to get to Mars. We pack fuel to get to the point where Mars gravity takes over, and then we fall towards Mars. Sweet. Because that's less fuel. You don't want to take more fuel than you have to. Exactly. Just wow. saying. So you're never really flying to Mars. You're flying at Mars, waiting for Mars to come and grab you to come to Mars. Well, you know, waiting, you're, you're, this is very calculated, right? You act like, will they, will they take us? Will they not? <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if that's how you had to do it? Like, you, you get there like, oh my God, I hope Mars. Yeah, what if, if, if you just barely miss it, then you just sling yourself back to Earth. And there, yeah, you uh, there you go. That's so cool, man. That's, and, and one last thing, just an interesting thought experiment. Again, okay. neglecting air resistance here. If you take a high powered rifle and shoot it straight up, High power rifles go a thousand miles. I mean, they're they go faster than sound. Okay. Right. Shoot it straight up. It'll go all the way up. Okay. Right. And every second it loses 32 feet per second speed. It reaches zero and then it comes back. And every second it gains 32 feet per second speed. And it'll fall right back down the nozzle of your gun at the same speed that it left. Okay. Uh, thereby killing you. Killing you. <laughs> <laughs> So there you go. Igniting the magazine. Right. If you're a Yahoo, the lesson here is don't fire your guns in the air, okay? No, nope. straight up. No, That's air straight. resistance would slow down the bullet on the way down. Okay. Yeah. So uh, anyhow, Chuck. Oh, by the way, that escape velocity neglects air resistance. So, right. So you'd have to compensate for the air resistance if you were doing, doing it because the air eats up some of your energy. Exactly. Anyway, that's it, Chuck. That's what goes up. Will only sometimes... Must come down. There you go. And, there you have and tell me how we're going to reword it now. It's what goes up must come down as long as it's going less than 6.9 miles per second. Okay. There you have that catchy phrase that <laughs> Chuck just invented. You heard it here on Star Talk. All right. We got to run. All right. All right, Chuck. Always good to have you. Always a pleasure. Neil deGrasse Tyson here. Keep looking up. <laughs> <laughs>